I also am kind of curious of what kind of announcement you folks made here. Yeah, I think the big one is the launch of uh, vCluster Cloud. Uh, it's in beta right now. Um, we're working towards making it uh, much more of a mission critical, stable solution. But right now, it's a great way to, you know, we have vCluster and then obviously the pro features on top of the, the core technology. Um, but then we also have these platform features and that requires that you install the vCluster platform, which, uh, you know, is, is a component that you know, obviously running your vClusters is something that most companies want to do. Running the platform is, is a different story though, right? Um, and that's a little bit of a, you know, hurdle to get started with potentially, right? You spun up a couple of vClusters, now you're seeing these platform features like our sleep mode that puts virtual clusters to sleep automatically. You're like, hey, let me try this out. Um, and then we ask you, hey, to install the platform and, you know, you got to uh, have an ingress to expose it, right? It has a UI component to it. Um, you may need to open up uh, a firewall, uh, right? And we just take away that burden by hosting our platform for you. So you have a couple of vClusters running and you want to upgrade them to pro vClusters. You want to see what the platform can do. You can just go to vcluster.cloud, create an account, spin it up and like, you know, it takes like maybe 30 seconds, right? Uh, and then you're in, you connect your three or four vClusters and you're ready to go. So for that initial exploration and experimentation with the product, uh, this is going to make it so much faster for new users to discover things. But also for existing users, you know, we ship so many updates, so many new features. Um, when, when people are on a certain version, they're like, oh, can I hold off on this upgrade for like a couple of weeks? Or do I need this immediately? Let me check out the new version, right? Vcluster Cloud is a great way to do this now. Excellent, thank you. Now, any other announcement that you folks made here at the show? Yeah, there's another announcement we recently made, uh, and that's a KubeWord integration. Uh, so KubeWord uh, seems to get a lot of traction, you know, for the pretty obvious reasons with the whole, you know, VMware kind of like, you know, drama. Um, and I think it's, it, it's really interesting to see that interest in this project that allows you to spin up VMs through Kubernetes APIs, right? Obviously, Kubernetes APIs is what we do all day long, that vCluster ultimately delivers Kubernetes APIs to, you know, hundreds and thousands of people in, uh, in, these, in these Fortune 500 companies. Um, so it's pretty natural that people are looking for ways to integrate VM provisioning into that flow. So we built this KubeWord integration, which ultimately allows you to have a V cluster and then spin up virtual machines inside of that V cluster to also consume them. Uh, it's really, really exciting and a very, very smooth experience for, for folks that want to have these legacy type workloads or just need the VM uh, because they need deeper access you know, to, uh, to the machine, right? Uh, for privileged containers or image building or whatever they're doing in, in those VMs.